This is Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Ag Update. We saw some rainfall in portions of the eastern Corn Belt over the weekend, but with limited rains forecast for the dry areas of Illinois, Iowa, and Nebraska, look for the markets to trade firmer today. Corn traded both sides Friday with pressure coming from big crop ideas despite destruction that was caused to the Iowa corn crop in that windstorm. Prices drew additional support from a USDA announcement that 324,000 tons of corn had been sold to an unknown destination for the 2021 marketing year. That allowed corn to close higher for the day as well as for the week. It marked the third week of weekly gains for the corn market. In the overnight trade, we have spot futures trading three cents higher as I record this. Soybean prices continue to trade higher on concerns of crop losses this fall from extended periods of heat and lack of moisture. Soybeans closed 47 and a quarter cents higher for the week uh, over the previous week on Friday. I believe that's the biggest weekly gain in over a year. In the overnight trade, we continue to see the market move to the upside, with spot futures trading up a dime as I record this. Wheat was generally lower on Friday as we had a round of profit taking, and it was also being pressured by harvest activity and reports of decent yields. World weather events may end up providing support, though, with Argentina struggling with dryness and bouts of freezing temperatures. Black Sea regions seem to be struggling with supplies. And the EU Commission uh, once again lowered production estimates. In the overnight trade, we have Chicago and Kansas City unchanged, while Minneapolis is 2.5 cents higher. Cotton futures traded in a narrow range, with the December futures finishing 29 points lower as they ended the week at $65.08. Livestock futures were lower straight across the board on Friday. We had the October live cattle futures ending the day a buck and a quarter lower, while September feeder cattle were down $1.20 at the closing bell. Lean hog futures were weaker as well, with the October futures closing down $2.07.5. Class 3 milk futures ended the week on a stronger note. We had the September futures finishing 22 points higher, settling at 15.69, were unchanged in the overnight trade. And meat cutout values were mixed to end the week. Choice box beef was $2.14 lower uh, to close at 2.29.40, while select boxes were up 60 cents as they settled at 2.14.86. Pork carcass cutout values were $1.39 lower, ending the day at $71.39 per hundredweight. This has been Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Ag Update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this. <music> 